and welcome back to Sarah's Music. Today we're in New York on 7th Avenue, right next to the Carnegie Hall, and we're going across the street to the offices of the 21C Media Group, a company specializing in the promotion of classical music in the USA. It's not only stars like Placido Domingo and Rolando Villason who use the 21C Media Group to advise them with their social media and digital marketing. More and more big names from the classical music world are realizing the importance of this work. To make it in today's music world, of course you have to be a fantastic musician and a master of your instrument. But there is so much more expected of the stars these days. Here at 21C Media, the artists are helped with the non-musical side of their careers. There's a great energy about this office and I love the team. The team here at 21C are constantly developing new and international projects such as the YouTube Symphony Orchestra, an orchestra made up of young musicians from 30 countries. The live broadcast on YouTube of the final concert from Sydney, Australia had over 33 million viewers. The 21C Media Group was founded by its three managing directors, Glenn Petrie, Jessica Lustig and Albert Imperato. When people come in and they just want to see what they call the wall, the wall of fame, and you just take a look at the artists, Placido Domingo, another legend, Daniel Barenboim. I mean, we have like a wall of history here. So we're here in 21C's conference room with two of the managing partners, Jessica Lustig and Albert Imperato. Welcome to your conference room, you guys. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome Sarah. We're thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much. I absolutely adore the work you guys do. Do you find there's a difference uh, between the, the younger generation of classical music artists and the older generation? Do you find you have to push the older artist in the direction of social media and websites and all things digital? Or are some of them taking to it like a duck takes oh, to water? You know, we've worked with some some of the clients we've worked with for a long time. I mean, the company's 15 years old. Uh, Deborah Voigt, give you one example. We have her book right here. Uh, at the beginning, I remember artists that we've had this long relationship with asking, do I really need to do this? Do I really need a website? Do I really need to, to bother with Facebook and Twitter? Did it, and didn't Debbie say she, you were going to get I'll never forget it. I remember she would say, oh, she said over lunch one day, she said, what is this Twitter thing? Like, I've been hearing people talking about Twitter. And I just took out my phone. And I, I showed it to her, and she, honestly, she rolled her eyes. She's like, oh, that's kind of silly, isn't it? <laughs> and about six months later, she's like, uh, oh, Albert, I've been, I've been looking at that Twitter thing. We should, you should really show me how it works. And she absolutely took to it. She is funny, and it, she is very spontaneous. She talks directly to almost all of her Twitter followers. It's amazing, the back and forth. The American opera singer Deborah Voigt is one of the most popular dramatic sopranos in the world today. I'm hoping you're going to say what I think you're going to say. One of your favorite projects is that's actually how we met. Right, we actually met through the YouTube Symphony Orchestra, which was a, an enormous two-part marketing initiative. Incredible Google. project. Uh, really uh, an experiment uh, for, for a worldwide project that YouTube could use on all of its channels around the world. Another really rewarding project that we did uh, was to help highlight this was nice. um, yeah. with the help of the World Bank and the State Department, a youth orchestra from, from Kabul, from Afghanistan, who came and did a performance tour at the Kennedy Center and at Carnegie Hall.
busy in here, they're not just pretending to be busy for the cameras, they're actually working, right? <laughs> Right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Olivia and Garrett are responsible for the digital and social media of the 21C star-studded client list. Garrett, what does that even mean? You're responsible for the social media. What do you have to do? That's uh, trying to figure out what's the best way to get our artists to connect with their audiences, finding great social media platforms that they uh, that that match their personalities and building new sites and finding new projects and design and technology to make that happen. What works the best on a Facebook page of a classical mu music artist? I think the more personal the better. So when people have a sense that they're there with the artist, they feel connected, they feel uh, empowered, and I think that's a, it's a great thing for musicians. Tell me about a couple of your favorite projects. I think Rolando Villazón, who's this amazing Mexican tenor, he'll, he... Rolando! <laughs> he's a cartoonist. He draws for us, and we find ways to animate them and share them online. What are you up to here? Newsweek from 1982 with Placido, the king of the opera. Look yeah. at him, wasn't he beautiful? Well, he still, still is. is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on here? Uh, we have been working with Placido on uh, just this incredible amount of memories he has from his career, archival photos, wow. on stage, off stage. Just finding a way of making this legacy digitized and we also trying to find a way of putting it all together so it tells a story. He's, he's, he does great stuff for social media. He does all these little videos mm -hmm. and greets his fans and uh, you think it's really necessary today? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, when you have so many performers and celebrities who are online and making themselves accessible to fans to not do that, uh, you cut yourself off a little bit. A quick selfie of all of us for me as we wait for one of 21C's clients to arrive, the chief conductor of the New York Philharmonic, Alan Gilbert. Hey! <laughs> 21C has another visitor today, Maestro Alan Gilbert, principal conductor of New York Philharmonic, and an old friend, and I'm really happy to have you here to talk to me. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Do you think people can get away with doing no social media, no website promotion? Do you think it's really just become part of our society? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you can't you can't put the you can't put the genie back in the bottle. It's uh, it's out, and it's it's great. And I you know I for one love watching your concerts. I like watching my own concerts. Yeah, I was going to say I like watching your concerts. <laughs> and, and, and and I also and the interviews and, that we do. I mean, I think yeah, when when, so when you were in Berlin it, and you it, played with us, we had this lovely interview, and it, it makes makes the artist more accessible. Absolutely, to the it to the audience. Personalizes the experience, and and I think. I think in a really good sense, artists, musicians who are able to reach out directly to their public um, become humanized. It's this ironic thing because it's actually the most technological, you know, digital thing and it's remote and it's through a phone and people are, you know, checking their Twitter feed and things. But actually, it used to be that, you know, you would never see, you know, your favorite artists in person no, except in the concert hall. Alan, when you're on the road a lot and you tweet, we follow each other on Twitter, is there any sort of, of artist competition? You know, do you even notice how many Twitter followers you have? I do. I'm, I, I track every day to see if I have a couple more. Oh, uh, I, please follow Alan Gilbert. <laughs> It'll make him happy. Please follow. No, <laughs> it's, a, it's such an easy way to get in touch with so many people all at once. And, and it's, I it really is a revolution. It is, absolutely. I think it's, really... it's a revolution. Yeah. Because now, you know, the traditional forms of advertising still exist and obviously still work, but they're so expensive and take time and you have to plan ahead and, you know, create an ad and send it in. Now with the tweet, you can reach many more people instantly, essentially for nothing. It's very, it's, you know, it's completely changed the paradigm. That's all from Sarah's Music for today. I got some great photos today. I'm going to go and tweet them. See you next time.
Alan, that's, right the that's the wrong way around. That's the wrong way around. Yeah, we turn it around. No, that's the wrong way around too. Okay. We turn it around. Okay. Put your little right. finger there. in the hook. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Is this a uh, B-flat horn or a... Oh, don't ask such technical questions. <laughs> no, I remember the fingerings though. It's like, it's... If you press that down, it's B-flat. Okay, I want B-flat. Yeah. Right. We just want to hear a noise. No, I want to figure out this is... Maestro. Wait, then, uh, then, right? Am I right? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, I was just nodding off. Da, uh, <laughs> wait, da, wait, no, no. Da, 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 da. That's that the right finger? That right? is perfect, okay. yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> 